Hi, I'm Ned, and I make games. Today I want to set up a mouse look camera control system. This allows you to smoothly change the player's view based on the mouse's movement. It's useful for any first-person view game. I'll show how to create smooth movement and avoid common mistakes, as well as prepare for more complicated camera controllers. I made this project using Unity 2020.1.12 F1. If you're using a future version, check the comments. I'll post updates there. Get started by setting up a test scene. You'll want some scenery to look at. Then, create a capsule 3D object to be the player game object. Drag the camera so it's a child of the player game object, and change its position to roughly be at the player character's eye level. Now, create a C-sharp script called Mouse Look, and open it in your script editor. Let's set up the groundwork. We'll need a settings field to define input sensitivity. This should be a vector too, so the horizontal and vertical sensitivity can be fine-tuned independently. Next, we'll want to keep track of the current rotation angles in our own variable. Since Unity stores rotations as quaternions, it will be more stable to keep track of the angles ourselves. Write a get input function, which grabs the current input state. I'll use Unity's original input system to get the mouse movement across the screen in pixels since the last update. You could easily replace this with anything really. The new input system, key presses, or even touchscreen swipes. For now though, this will do fine. In the update function, call get input and multiply it with sensitivity. This gives the wanted angular velocity for this frame. For frame rate and dependency, multiply that with delta time and add it to the rotation. Then, convert the rotation to Euler angles and set it to the transform. For a refresher, Euler angles are a way to describe a 3D rotation by angles around the X, Y, and Z axes. The horizontal rotation is around the Y axis, and the vertical rotation is around the X axis. Be sure to construct the Euler angle vector 3 accordingly. Back in the scene editor, add the mouse look script to the player object. Set the sensitivity value, which will probably be much larger than you think. Press play, and there we go, mouse look controls. But there are several problems I'd like to fix. First off, I'd like to invert the vertical movement. That's as easy as negating the Y sensitivity. I think that feels a little more natural. Second, the movement is choppy and sharp. Let's fix that by adding acceleration. Open the script and add an acceleration serialized field and a velocity instance variable. In the update method, we need to smoothly transition this velocity variable towards the wanted velocity every frame. Unity's move towards function does just that. Then add the smooth velocity to the rotation instead of the wanted velocity. Okay, back in Unity, set an acceleration setting and... Oh, that's strange. The reason for this extreme stuttering becomes clear if you output the wanted velocity every frame to the debug log. You'll see zeros appearing in the log every once in a while, even if we continually move the mouse. This is because Unity's input update rate is slower than my frame rate. We can fix this by ignoring zero input values for a short time. In your script, add an input lag period setting and two instance variables, an input lag timer, and the last received input value. In the get input method, add the delta time to the lag timer. This keeps track of the last time we received a good input value from Unity. Below that, the script needs to decide if it should accept an input value from Unity. Do so if the input value is not zero, but also if the lag timer is greater than the max period, we can assume the player really isn't providing input. In that case, we should accept an input value even if it is zero. After all that, return the last saved input value. Back in the scene editor, set the lag period to a small value. Wow, that makes a huge difference. I'd play around with the lag period to get it as small as possible without reintroducing stuttering. This is all to make sure that input is still responsive. Alright, problem 3. If you rotate vertically too much, the player will flip on their head. Let's fix that by clamping the vertical angle. In the script, Add a max vertical angle from horizon setting. Create this clamp vertical angle method, which does exactly as it advertises using this clamp function. In update, clamp the rotation.y using this new method. Back in the scene view, 
Set the angle to 90, or whatever you want, and then try it out. Okay, that's much more sensible. Next up, I'd like to be able to turn off the mouse look input to allow for cinematics and other camera controllers. We can already do that by disabling the mouse look component. The problem is, when I re-enable it, the component immediately snaps the view back to where it was before. Not ideal. In your script, let's fix this by adding an onenable method. In that method, reset the various state variables. Now, we need to reset the rotation variable so it matches the game object's transform. Unity does provide Euler angles, which we already know how to convert to and from. One gotcha is that Unity's Euler angles range from 0 to 360 degrees, but we would prefer them to range from negative 180 to 180. Luckily, that's an easy fix. Next, we should enforce the vertical angle clamp. And finally, save the angles in the rotation variable. Remember, horizontal is around the y-axis and vertical is around the x-axis. Nice, problem solved. But in so doing, you may have noticed another issue. When looking up, the player collider actually rotates too, which can cause problems if you're using physics. To fix this, we need to have the player object only rotate horizontally, and then have the camera object take up the vertical rotation. Let's add an option to do that in the script. Add this flag enumeration and a corresponding settings field, allowing you to choose one direction or both to rotate. Then, in update, if the direction field does not include a horizontal flag, zero out the horizontal wanted velocity. Next, do the same for vertical. And back in Unity, set the player object to only rotate horizontally. Then, select the camera object and add another mouse look component. This one should only rotate vertically. And voila! The mouse look behaves the same, but the physics will be much better. And with that, I'm pretty happy with this mouse look script. It's useful for a wide variety of first-person view games. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and enable notifications so you'll see next week's game development tutorial as well. I'd also appreciate it if you could leave a like. It lets YouTube know to recommend this video to others, and it really helps out the channel. Of course, please don't hesitate to leave a comment if you're having any issues. What type of game will you use this mouse look for? Is there any topic you'd like to see a video about? Thanks again for watching, and make games.